Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Mystic, and the topic is a good woman. And I hope you have your Bible opening up to Proverbs 31. We're going to start at verse 10 all the way through the end. And let me sing a song. <clears throat> Clearing my throat here. She's love, 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 she's love. Yes, a good woman is love. And let's start reading right away. Proverbs 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? And virtuous means excellence in morality, expressing righteous behavior. I mean, who can find a woman that expresses righteous behavior? <clears throat> For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he have no need she have no need, so that he have no need of spoil. That means no need of impairment. That's something to think about. No need of impairment. She will do him good. She's not going to be focusing on doing him harm. What's that? What, what what will help her? How does that help her to harm her own husband? And no evil. Not evil all the days of her life. Well, what does that help? How does that help her? She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. That means she's not lazy. She's like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. That means she goes shopping. She raises it also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. That means she's looking out for her neighbors. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. And she saves her money. That means she's saving her money. And she sees something that's worthwhile, she buys it. That's very smart. That reminds me of the wise maidens, handmaidens that we were talking about. With the fruit of her hand, she planted a vineyard. That's she's a small woman. She girded her learns with strength and strengthened her arms. She's not going to sit around doing nothing. She perceived that her merchandise is good. She knows when something's good. Her candle goeth not out by night. That means when it's dark, she still has light, and the light is in her heart. She can see that things are good, and she's preparing even at nighttime in her mind. Her spiritual light is going on. To think about a plan. She's making a plan. She layeth her hands to the spindle. And her hands hold the distaff. The distaff. That means it's like a sewing machine. She got plans. And she planned on sewing up something in her mind. To keep things going. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she stretches forth her hands to the needy. She see where there's need, and she makes a plan to help the poor and the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She's not going to have her children in rags, but she's not lazy. She's going to find a way to make sure her children have enough clothing. So that when the snow comes and when it's ice cold, they're not going to be going out in sandals and in flip-flops. 
That's a wise woman. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. That means she's not going to go out in silk clothing when it's ice cold outside. She makes sure that she looks nice and neat and she's warm because why would she look forward to getting sick and she won't be able to take care of her household. Her husband is known in the gates and he's sitting among the elders of the land. That means people are talking about even her as well as her husband in a good way because they recognize him because of the household that she keeps. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivers girdles unto the merchants. That means she's doing something constantly. She's sewing, she's making linen, she's doing things. Strength and honor are her clothing and she <clears throat> rejoices in time to come. She's making something because she knows that what she got is good stuff. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. That means she's not cruel. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. Well, we were just talking about that. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praiseth her. That means her husband is proud of her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelled them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own words praise her in the gates. So you see, a good woman is very hard to find. A good woman come from God. We mentioned she's not lazy. She prepares for her children. She prepares for the future. Her husband is known because of the household, a very good household that she keeps. And that's why <clears throat> I started that song off with Love is love, love is love, love is love, love is love. Virtuous woman is filled with love, her price is far above rupees, the heart of her husband does safely trust, trust in her, because there's no need of spoil. She has love, she has love, she has love, she has love, love, she has love. There's no evil in her, only goodness. She has goodness in her, she has goodness in her. Love is love, love is love. She has love in her, her ways are good. Her ways are good, and she's filled with wisdom. She's filled with wisdom. Her children trust in her, her children see the works of her hand. Her children will call her blessed of God. Her husband call her blessed of God. She opened her mouth with wisdom. She findeth linen and selleth it. She looketh for wells and ways for her household 
and eateth not the bread of idleness she's filled with god's love and god's wisdom i said she has love love she has love love she's a good woman